Hey guys, today we're going to take the fire that we made in the previous video and we're going to bring it into After Effects and we're going to, going to add some glows, some heat distortion, some optical flares, uh, just kind of sweeten it up a little bit. Uh, and then at the end, we're going to turn it into a seamless loop so that you can just, you know, play that forever. Uh, we're going to add some sound effects, just kind of, kind of finish this project here. Uh, we're going to try to do it as quickly as we can. So let's hop in. Okay. So we're in after effects now and we can import our footage, uh, command I on a Mac. So let's bring these files in. Um, okay. So this dialog pops up here. Um, for this, we actually are not going to be using our alpha channel. So let's bring this into our composition. And if we play this, you, the first thing you will see is a lot of noise on the ground. Um, you know, yours may be fine if you use more samples. Um, great. Uh, mine, however, needs some work. So I am going to have to do a couple things. Uh, I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to name this, uh, Fire uh, Neat. And I'm going to hit Command D and I'm going to name this one, hit enter, Fire Up. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the top, the top one first and then I'm going to just mask out with the pen tool here um, the floor. I'm going to get in as close as I can get. Peel this off. Okay. And we can feather this a little bit, maybe, I don't know, five pixels. Okay, now we're going to put neat video on the floor to reduce the noise. So make sure the layer is selected. And I like to just type it in to, to help neat video reduce noise and then prepare. So let's do auto profile. And that's fine. It'll still work and then we'll go to adjust. Now here we're going to change some settings. We're going to go to the high setting. Okay. So we're going to change the radius to three on here. And then we will temporal noise. Yeah. Noise level. Oops. Noise level. We're going to change up to about 35. And then we're going to go to, um, yeah, that's fine. Repeated frames, fine. And then the spatial, um, we're going to also change the high, change our noise level to 35, enable edge smoothing, noise level check, um, Actually, let's make this 10 and the other, the other 135, this 135 in the spatial. Okay. So that should be good for the floor. Um, you can mess around with your settings and get those to look correct. Now let's turn, let's copy this mask. So paste the mask on and then invert it. So now we're just seeing the fire. We, we don't want neat video on the top one. Um, let's do our color correction here. So first let's bring in a levels and we're going to just, oops, we're going to, we're going to grab the top one and just kind of crunch it in and just brighten this up. And then let's bring in a curves and just bring down the blacks a little bit. And then let's also bring in a glow. Stylize glow. We want our threshold to be about 85%. Um, that's, that's it for the color correction here. So let's turn them all off. Looking pretty good. Uh, we can copy all these and paste them onto our bottom layer. We want to add more feathering to our mask. So let's do 25, 25, blend that in better. Okay. So let's pre compose these together in this fire. 
and we want to bring in an adjustment layer and let's hit enter and name this okay heat distortion and let's go up to search window and we'll just type in heat and we'll put on video copilot plugin heat distortion the distortion amount we want about 1.5 and heat amount, we want around 15. And our noise scale is too large. Let's put that around 25. Okay. Now we want to add in our glows. So let's make a new solid. And uh, yeah, we can just pick a, a nice orange off of here. And for right now, let's put it around 50% and we can screen it. Okay. So we want to animate this. So we will hold shift and double click the ellipse tool for uh, the mask. Hit F and we'll add in um, feathering. Okay. Now around frame two, is when we want this to be fully anim um, fully on the screen. So let's hit mask again. We'll put a keyframe there. Go back and adjust our mask path. Okay. Now we want to animate our mask expansion as well. So at the end, we'll have a keyframe at uh, two seconds, and then we'll shrink it down in the beginning. So it grows and gets brighter. Let's hit T for opacity and only bring it to around 2%. Um, you know, that does help. Uh, and then let's add some flicker. So hold uh, option and click on the uh, stopwatch here next to opacity and we're going to put an expression we're going to put in wiggle parentheses 1.8 and then 4 so 1.8 is how much above and below 2 it's going to flicker and then 4 is the speed okay so let's copy let's rename this to glow main and then let's copy and paste and name this low small. Okay, and then let's go to our mask and let's erase or delete the uh, the second keyframe there. This is going to be where the main fire is. And let's hit T and let's increase this opacity and just make sure. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, Let's go into our expression again. And this time we want it to wiggle around 3.5 and around 0.6. Okay, so let's bring in an optical flare now so we can break up this just stark black background. So let's bring in a solid first. Let's name it OF. And then we'll go into our effects. Video Copilot, Optical Flares, and we want this over the transparent. And we're just going to drag this up and over to the top right and change. And then we'll go into the preset browser and we'll go to custom presets and just pick, you know, whatever one you like. I'm going to use this Angelicus. Uh, and then hit T for opacity. You can do it also up here. Uh, actually, let's just do it up here. Hit 1%. Uh, and honestly, that's it. Um, maybe move it a tiny bit. Just Okay, so here's our finished fire. Um, I added in some... some uh, sound you know fire igniting and just fire burning campfire sounds um, so looks good with the heat distortion 
Um, so the final uh, step that we're going to do here is make this a uh, seamless loop. So you could you, you could just do this in After Effects as well, um, but I'm going to use uh, Final Cut Pro 10. Um, so here is our fire. So what we're going to do is that initial um, you know ignition is fine if you know if if you're going to use that. Um, but for us, we're going to have to cut that off. So let's just take a frame that looks looks good here. Hit B for blade. Um, and yeah, we're not going to use any of that beginning part. Uh, and then the end, let's maybe cut it about here. Okay, so now that it's trimmed up a little bit here, you're going to make a cut in the middle and move the front to the back so that the end of the frame is the same as basically the same as the beginning of the frame. And then let's just bring this one in over, uh, do command T and then let's just fade out the sound. Yeah. I mean, I can't see the, see the edit there, so that's good. Um, do command E and let's, uh, yeah, select your settings here. Um, I'm keeping it ProRes and hit next, uh, export that. Okay. So here we are in uh, just QuickTime player. I'm going to go to the top and turn on loop and let's play it. Yeah. So except for that little stutter there in the beginning, uh, this is a perfect loop. Uh, you're good to go. All right, guys. Good job. You made it. I'd love to see what you guys do with this. So uh, you can leave a comment with the link and I'll check it out. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.